on this morning for children's ministry moment uh, I just come I'm coming to you with the topic young people of just be thankful be thankful be thankful I uh, my what I, I've known to be uh, or taught to be uh, as a child is to be thankful not just in the month of November you know not just any particular time but be be thankful every day 365 days in every year amen um in psalms 111 uh verses 1 through 10 i'm not going through all 1 through 10 but i'm going to talk about just verse 1 for a few minutes the author of this beloved song begins with the following words. I'm just going to talk about verse 1. He says, praise the Lord. This is David. Praise the Lord. I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart in the company of the upright in the congregation. The first person that we need to be thankful for at all times is the Lord. Because he's paid the highest price for price for us out of his love for us. So we need to be thankful unto God at all times. No matter where you find yourself in life. Whether you're getting what you want or you don't have what you need. But God, he is the supplier of your need. So just wait on him and be thankful. Be content right where you are. You know, sometimes I know y'all want stuff from parents. You want this, you want that. You know, everything will come in its own time. And But always be thankful to God. And so after giving thanksgiving to God comes being thankful or being courteous, courteous or being polite to others. I'm going somewhere. Matthew 7 and 12, it says, treat others as you want them to treat you. Amen. You have to start working on that as a child. It goes a long way how you treat people, how you address them. And I'm talking about, uh, it can be as small as saying hello when you come into a room. That That's being thankful. Did you know being polite is being thankful it is being polite is being thankful so after we are thankful to god for everything that he's done you know we need to be courteous and thankful like different things your parents do I always say thank you mama thank you daddy you know thank you auntie grandma paul paul gg thank you even to your friends, you know, tell them thank you when they do something for you. Don't let that go past, you know, uh, because it's just always good. And people will remember you and your attitude and your character in life. Sometimes when it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a test of whether you get that blessing or not, and they are the ones who have to give it to you, then they're going to look at your attitude. Okay, so we, as children of God, we are polite because that is being thankful for what we have. That is also being thankful to God. And I'm just going to give one little example and I'm going to pray. And I think I've told y'all this example before, but I'm just going to say it again. I was in my like 11th or 12th grade uh, English class one day. And when, as the children, as we were coming into the room, there was a like a a dignified looking man standing up there with our teacher in front of the room and so three of us you know we came in he was just standing up there looking prestige you know looking important and so he was just standing up there so all of us came into the room so i came into the room i speak i always speak to my teacher when i come to the room you know hey miss cooper that was her name hey miss cooper you know i'm like hey miss cooper i wave or do something and i go sit down so it was about three or four of us that spoke. And I, I actually spoke to the gentleman, too. I said, hello. Hey, Miss Cooper. And went and sat down at my desk. Uh, about three or four of us did the same thing. And so 
And she began to open up the class. She started saying, you know, she introduced him and who he was. And he was somebody very important. And so when he started talking about business and talking about life and different things. And so he said, you, 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 and you. He pointed out the four people who came into the room and spoke to him. And he said, now, if I were looking for somebody to uh, work for me or anything, I would hire y'all. Because y'all are the only four that came in and addressed me like I was somebody. You know, you, you spoke at least, even though you didn't know who I was, y'all spoke. And so I'm telling you that how you are, how you treat people, it matters. It does matter. Okay, between whether you getting that blessing or you won't get it. And you'll be waiting in line for the next one. So let's be thankful to God. And let's be polite when we are, you know, even out in our home, outside our home, when you're around your friends or whatever the case may be. But let's be polite because being polite is being thankful. Amen. Father God, I just come right now, Lord, thanking you for our young people here at Sunrise, Lord God. I give you praise for children all around the world, Lord God. Let them hear this message by way of spirit, Lord God. But we just want to give you thanks on today, Lord God, for everything that you have done for us, Lord God, whether big or small, Lord God. We are thankful to you, Lord God. Because you are a merciful Father. You are a loving Father. And we, we want to give your name the highest praise. And Lord, in our everyday life, Lord God, help our children to represent you well in everything that they say and do, Lord God. Let it be pleasing in your sight, Lord God. Help them to be polite and courteous to their parents, to their grandparents, to their family, to their friends, Lord God, to people that they don't even know, Lord God. Help them to represent you well in everything that they say and do to the honor and glory of your name. This is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah. We give your name praise. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God. Yes, God.